Hello, everybody. Welcome to art class. My name is Miss Cravens, and today we're going to talk about an artist. His name is Ted Harrison, and he does a really cool kind of art. I feel like when people think of great artwork, they always think of something like this or something like this, which those are amazing pieces of art, but there's different kinds of art that aren't that, you know? So Ted Harrison, I will show him and his work. Boom, now. So Ted Harrison is a Canadian artist. He uses a ton of colors, which is amazing. And he is also known for painting and drawing a specific area of Canada called the Yukon. It's known for being pretty cold. So in some of his paintings, you might see something, it's not white, but it might look like, oh, are they in the snow? So we're gonna draw some inspiration from Ted Harrison today. So we have this awesome polar bear. The Yukon is cold and it does hold some polar bears. Also, a colorful background. Why just have it be white if it's snowing? Let's pull a Ted Harrison and make it super colorful and super fun because color, in my opinion, just makes everything better. So we're gonna have a great time making a Ted Harrison polar bear. Let's get going. For this project, you'll need two pieces of paper, a pencil, a black marker of any kind, scissors, and something to color with. Colored pencils, crayons, anything you've got. Let's begin. So we're gonna have two pieces of paper. One paper is gonna be the background and the other paper is going to be the bear. So we're gonna start with the bear because that's a pretty easy thing to start with. So we're gonna start at the bottom. Paper is in portrait direction to make sure he is nice and tall, not nice and wide. We want him to be taller than he is wide. So we're gonna start at the bottom and he's skinnier at the top than he is at the bottom. So let's remember that. So I'm gonna go up, going in a little bit. And then when I start going back down, I'm gonna go back out. So it is like a rainbow shape, but it's wider here than it is at the top. Just remember that. And if it's not completely just like this, do not even worry about it. For his face, we're gonna do this kind of oval egg shape right there for his nose. Right here, we're gonna add his actual nose, but kind of an upside down triangle, but with no points. Like a curvy triangle. Yeah, I, I believe that. <laughs> for the mouth, straight down, smile. And we're gonna do two eyes. These will be pretty easy. A circle or an oval, I'm gonna color them in and a circle or an oval. Oh, it was sad. There we go, color it in. Now for the ears, we can do bare ears. It is a bump with another bump inside. It is a bump with another bump inside. Wonderful. In the arms, touch the side. Don't start too low, so start the side. We're gonna go. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> There's an announcement. Sorry about that, guys. I'm actually in the school building, and we got an announcement on the over, overhead, overcom, speakercom. I don't know what they're called. Sorry, we'll continue. Bring the arm down. Bring it back up. But we're not going to touch the line again. We're just going to bring it down, bring it back up. Like he's hugging his belly. Add some claws. Same thing on the other side. Start here. Bring it down, bring it up, add some claws. Very good. So one of our last details is we have these really nice line details all around the outside of this bear and on his arms. These are just little lines. So what I can do, there's no way to mess this up. I promise, 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 promise. You're just gonna put some lines here wrap them around his head. I wouldn't make them like too small because then you'll be here for a very long time coloring and drawing. They can be, I 
would say like small medium. There we go. And some down the sides. And some down the sides. Awesome. If you have a Sharpie, let's outline. Okay, what I would do next is if you do have a um, pretty decent eraser, you're gonna end up with a lot of these pencil lines. And I just think the art looks so much more professional when we get rid of extra pencil. If you've been in my class before, you will remember this. And you'll be like, oh, not the erasing. But it really, really, really does make a big difference. So try to get rid of any really, really noticeable pencil lines because we're not gonna color him. He's gonna stay white because he's a polar bear. So we will see them if they are not erased. And after we erase, I would go back and erase a little more, but I won't because time, time. I don't want you to watch me do it. Then we're gonna cut the bear out. Perfect, recycle that. And now we're on to the background. See you in part two. Welcome to part two. So we have our bear. So we're not gluing this down yet. I don't remember if I put glue stick in our supply list. I will add that back in now because eventually you will need a glue stick. What a day this has been. Oh, so silly. So we're gonna work on the background. So what we need to do is we're gonna start at the bottom of the page and we're gonna make some curved lines all on top of each other. So I'm gonna go curved line and then I'm probably gonna touch somewhere on that curved line and go another curved waved line, easy peasy. Maybe I'll even go up a little so I'm not touching the line, I just went up. Make another waved curved line and go up again and boom done so those are our parts of the ground and for the mountains in the back you probably guessed it we're gonna draw some mountains it'll be very easy so i'm gonna touch the top here and i'm gonna make a mountain shape that one kind of got cut off but we can imagine that the rest of it is just right here off page that's a really cool trick in art you can make people believe, oh, the rest is here because the way I drew it. For the middle mountain, I'm going to just touch this one. Make one a pointy mountain, lovely. And maybe even a mountain just like that. Let's get our Sharpie. This is an easy outline, an outline. I am going to use crayons, but if you'd like to use colored pencils, you are welcome to, or any kind of um, coloring material that you have. The background just needs to be vibrant, bright colors. Um, usually mountains are brown, gray, black, tan. In this case, we wanna make them super colorful, so do not be afraid of the colors on this project. Let's get going. Okay, so I finished up my coloring during that announcement. Last up on the background is I want you to choose a pattern for the sky. So this was literally just a small lines pattern. Maybe on this one, I will do some stripes. I think that would look really cool actually. I would never see stripes in the sky otherwise. Wonderful. Very last step, very fun step is we are gonna glue our bear, not right here, we want the bottom of the, the bear to touch the bottom of the paper. Get your glue stick, get your glue, whatever you have, tape, anything. And glue, get right up on the edges of the bear. There we go. Be nice and careful and stick the polar bear to the paper. And there it is. I hope you had a good time learning how to draw like Ted Harrison. I had a great time. I really like this project. It's really cool and it's fun to see different kinds of art because you don't have to like all kinds of art, but you have to learn about them all. 
so you know what you like. Just makes so much sense, doesn't it? Well, I will see you next time. I hope you have a fabulous day. Adios, bye-bye.